Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at an altcoin avalanche currently trading above $18. Are we getting to the end of the bear market rally for avalanche? In this video, we'll be taking a look at the avalanche US dollar price chart on a three day time frame. Avalanche in the last one week is down 10%. In the last one month, is down 7.9%. And the big one is that in the last one year, Avalanche is down 78.3%. We'll also be taking a look at the Avalanche Bitcoin valuation chart. We'll also take a look at Avalanche performance against Ethereum. And then we'll take a look at Avalanche market cap, which currently sits around $5.9 billion. How low can we go if this is the end of the rally? If we start dumping to Goblin Town, where we Avalanche find support in this bear market? We will be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for always supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys. If you're new to this channel and you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, or chat analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. We stayed 2023 on a very bright note. We saw all coins pumping to higher prices. But right now, it looks as if that rally is coming to an end. Because guys, if we go on a weekly time frame, on a monthly time frame, also on a yearly time frame, Avalanche is down in Goblin Town. It's down 78.3% on the yearly time frame. We're still deep in the crypto bear market. Avalanche is going through its first full crypto bear market. But in the bull market, this all coin was pumping to higher prices. From the 26th of December 2020 to when Avalanche got to an all-time high of $144 in November of 2021, we saw Avalanche go up by more than 5,000%. All it took was 327 days. All coins are very, very volatile that way. All coins can be very, very profitable in a bull market. Just $1,000 invested in Avalanche in December of 2020 would have returned more than $50,000 by November of 2021. Those are good times, those were fun times. That's what happens in the crypto bull market. Right now, we're in the crypto bear market. Avalanche is going through its first crypto bear market. And Avalanche has gone from as high as $144. We have seen it dump to Goblin Town in this bear market, even getting to as low as $10. But part of the relief rally was there 2023 on a very bright note. We've seen Avalanche go from as low as 92% down to Goblin Town. Avalanche has had a rally of more than 110%. But it looks as if that rally is coming to an end. It looks as if we are gearing up to continue dumping to Goblin Town. The last time we saw a bear market rally for Avalanche was from June 2022. So that rally ended in August where Avalanche rallied up by more than 100%. But after that rally came to an end, what happened? We saw Avalanche drop into new lows. We saw Avalanche going down by more than 64%. So is history repeating itself right now? Avalanche has given us more than 100% pump to the upside. Are we gearing up for another 60% dump to the downside? If that's going to happen, if we see Avalanche dumping another 60% from when this bear market rally is ending, we might see Avalanche for the first time since June 2021 go below $9.3. A 60% dump in Avalanche will carry it around to the $8.7 region. And guys, with all coins in the bear market, you don't want to say never, say never. There's always a possibility that these all coins can keep dumping to Goblin Town. But Avalanche has a strong support level around that $10.5 region. We saw Avalanche have huge, huge bounce up that level. Those bounces took us to new all-time highs. And that was in June of 2021. We finally came back towards that level again by December of 2022. So we Avalanche one more time in the bear market, come back to the $10.6 level. Only time will tell right now, as far as Avalanche has not pumped above that $29 level, guys, we are still having a lower high. We are still gearing up for dumping down to Goblin Town. It's normal for all coins to dump really well in the bear market. We saw Avalanche, for example, pump by more than 5,000% in a bull market. And most all coins in the first bear market go down around 90 to 97% from their all time high down to Goblin Town. In the case of Avalanche, we've seen it go down 92%. If we see Avalanche heading to that $8 region, we will see Avalanche still down 94.62% from its all-time high, which for all coins is somehow still normal. Because when the bull run comes around, these all coins can recover all the losses we have made in this bear market, even rallying up to new all-time highs. In the case of Avalanche, by the end of the next bull run, if Avalanche doesn't go lower than the $10.6 region, 
we can even see Avalanche trading around $500. From where we're currently trading right now, Avalanche will need to rally up by more than 2,700% if we are to see that 500 percent pump to the upside in the future guys long-term investors are still accumulating right now deep in the crypto bear market in the bear market is where you make your plans for the next crypto bull run if you want to get your first 10x 20x maybe your first 100x pump to the upside you want to do your accumulation deep in the crypto bear market where all coins are down bad avalanche is down 78.3 percent in the last one year guys you want to buy extreme fear in the cryptocurrency market and when we see avalanche pumping thousands of percentages to the upside that's exactly where you want to be selling for some profits you want to buy low and sell high you don't want to buy high and sell low that's what a lot of market participants do when you start following on a daily time frame when you see all coins pumping to higher prices remember guys the bear market can be very very long the bear market can be very very brutal if you want to be accumulating your favorite oil coins, getting ready for the next bull run, you want to dollar cost average so that per venture, we see Avalanche dumping to Goblin Town. You still have some capital on the side to take advantage of that opportunity. And even if Avalanche continues pumping to the high side, you still have some skin in the game. If you take a look at what Avalanche has done in the last one month, we've seen it gone from as low as $16.93 to as high as $22.71. The market cap of $5.8 billion dollars and a fully dieted market cap of $13 billion, Avalanche has a maximum supply of 720 million coins. We have more than 324 million of those AVAX coins in circulation. Avalanche is ranked 16 on coin market cap with over 914,000 people having this altcoin on their watch list. If you want to buy or sell some Avalanche right now, deep in the crypto bear market, as we're getting ready for the next crypto bull run, you can do that on Binance, on Coinbase Exchange, on Qcoin, on Kraken, on Bitfenix, on Bittrex, and guys, anywhere you get your popular altcoins, you can buy and sell some Avalanche right there. Avalanche is a layer one blockchain that functions as a platform for decentralized application and custom blockchain networks. It is one of Ethereum rivals aiming to unseat Ethereum as the most popular blockchain for smart contracts. It aims to do so by hiring transaction output of up to 6,500% transactions per second while not compromising scalability. If you take a look at Avalanche performance against both Bitcoin and Ethereum, we are deep into gobbling town. Avalanche is going through its first crypto bear market and all coins usually dumped gobbling town against Bitcoin in their first crypto bear market. Avalanche is just down around 70% against Bitcoin in the bear market. Guys, it is no guarantees that the bottom is in. We can easily see Avalanche dump another 70% against Bitcoin in the bear market. We can also see it easily dump more into Goblin Town against Ethereum in the bear market. In the bear market, a lot of market participants are really, really scared. They have seen their all coins dump to Goblin Town in the last one year. In the case of Avalanche, we saw Avalanche start in 2022 on a very bright note. We saw it trading around the $95 region. But what happened in 2022 was that we saw it dump into Goblin Town also. It ended the year down 88% from when it started the year. So there's still a lot of fear in the cryptocurrency market. And when people are scared, you see them running towards safety. And that's why through the bear market, we might see a lot of people still flipping their Avalanche for some Ethereum and also for some Bitcoin. And if we take a look at Avalanche market cap, which is currently sitting around the $5.8 billion region. In the rally that we had in August of 2022, Avalanche market cap got to as high as $8.4 billion. Right now, we have not gotten to as high as that $8.4 billion region. If we start dumping to Goblin Town, hopefully we'll find some support around the $4 billion region. If we don't, guys, we may be seeing Avalanche going lower than the $3.3 billion region for the first time since August of 2021. Avalanche has support around the $1.5 billion region. For us to get back to $1.5 billion from where we're currently trading, Avalanche will see another dump of around 73%. So what will happen to the price of Avalanche if we see a 73% dump from where we're currently trading? Guys, that will carry the price of Avalanche from the $18 region down into Goblin Town. We'll see Avalanche trading below $5. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Where do you see Avalanche heading to in the coming weeks and the coming months? Do you think we've gotten to the end of this relief rally? Or do we have one final pump to the upside before we start dumping to Goblin Town? Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notifications to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Remember guys, 
when it comes to investing nothing will pay off more than educating yourself and investment in knowledge pays the best interest invest for the long haul don't get too greedy don't get too scared see you guys in my next video